This is Twit. I just got my first Mac, which I've been wanting to get for about 15 years. Um, I finally saved up a bit of money to get one. And I noticed that uh, you do the um, the updates for Flash yourself. And um, I'm thinking, how, does, how do I do that? Because I had to download Flash also, but... Um, so, you know, so first of all, Macs don't come with Flash. Steve Jobs very yeah. famously hated Flash and uh, pre pretty much put a nail in the coffin when he said we're not going to support Flash on the iPhone or the iPad. However, you can't not support Flash on a desktop. So there are a couple of things you can do. One is if you want to continue to use Apple's browser, Safari, is simply download Flash. from the. Make sure you get it from the Adobe website, not some phony Flash. Right, that's exactly my point. That's what I did. Uh, but I noticed you said you do the, ma the update yourself. So whenever I start YouTube, if there's an update for Flash, it comes out. The problem is, how do I know it's not one of those things that just come out that's not actually right. Flash, that actually so so like think it. about bad guys. What a great way to get stuff on your computer. Again, in order to get on your computer, a bad guy has to get you to run a program, whether it's malware, adware, whatever. You got to run a program. So a great way to do it. In fact, it's a very common scam. Is to say. Uh, oh, you don't have the latest Flash player. And, yeah. And then it's not Flash that you're downloading. So I always do it manually. I always go to Adobe's website to get Flash. I think it is, is it Get Flash? I'm trying to remember what the uh, direct page Yeah, it's getflash.com. Getflash.com. Um, or adobe.com slash getflash. I can't remember. But you, you really want to make sure that you get it from that source. Now, here's the deal. Once you, nowadays, once you install Flash, it will auto-update. So you don't have to worry. And no website should ever say that to you and ignore it if it does. There's another alternative, which is to use Chrome. Google's Chrome has a safe version of Flash built in. You don't ever have to worry about it. And I think on the Mac, this might be the best way to use Flash, is to not use it in Safari and ignore any requests for Flash from Safari. And when you want to go to a site that supports Flash, like YouTube, although, by the way, you can tell YouTube, I don't want to use Flash, uh, and then it'll use HTML5. If you go to YouTube.com slash HTML5, you can oh. say, from now on, I don't want to use Flash. And that would be good, because then you won't get Flash fished. Uh, oh, I think... Yeah, and then and then, but if you need Flash, you do it in Chrome. This is what I do, and Chrome comes with Flash built in. And furthermore, it's a what they call a sandboxed Flash. It's not a Flash that has access to the rest of your system, but it's stored safely within Chrome. Get dot Adobe dot com slash Flash Player. That's the get dot Adobe. So the so that's your alternative. You can go to get dot Adobe dot com slash flash player and download the standalone installer um, I'm in Chrome so it says your Google Chrome browser already includes Adobe flash player built in so it doesn't it just ignores me so you have to do it from okay. within Safari I think if you really want to maximize safety is to do that but it's less convenient you know there's a real trade-off between safety and convenience and okay so if I wanted to keep using Safari the only way to like uh, just go the to way to do the update is going to the website not really trusting that dialog box that comes out? Yeah, I mean, that's probably a good idea. Uh, go to get.adobe.com slash flash player, and you can download it. And then um, it will ask you, do you want me to auto-update in future? And you can say that. And you should never again see that pop-up. If you do, you can say with some confidence, that's phony. <laughs>